All right, first things first with editing at wiki.secondlife.com. On this and other wiki pages, you will see a login link. Go ahead and click that and you'll enter. Just let me save that. Enter your usual Second Life name password like so. And I want to remember it in my case. And let's go ahead and log in. So now it will show this stuff here. If you click here, this is your user page and you can, it's like an extended profile really is what it is. <laughs> you can make it fun and zany as you want. It's self-expression. But let's go back to the front and I'll show you how to just casually start editing any wiki page. So the search function here, it actually auto-completes if you give it some time or it should. Why isn't it filling in like it normally does? Okay, there it is. So you could go to debug settings if you want, or you could just click search. And then for instance, there's a different pages. We can click on this existing one. And although this is not a typical example of a page you would normally get started on because it's quite, it can be fairly intimidating to look at the length. I will show you if you just go ahead and click edit tab on any wiki page, well not every, but most of them. Some of them are protected, Linden only, but in this case it's a public one, so you could go ahead and edit it, and then you can add something, and do note wiki code, this is good to get familiar with. If you do need editing guidelines and help, there's these links on the left here, which explain to you, okay, this means that, and at first it's normal to think of it as alien, with these little equal signs being headers. Let me go back and show you what those end up looking like and bold and all that. This toolbar can help. It's like, let me show you here. Oh, hi there, testing. And then if I were to select a word and make that bold, make that italic, there are extensions which make it easier to do a what you see is what you get style, but that doesn't work for everything. In any case, though, it's good to play on your own page and experiment to get familiar with it. And then when we have an edit like that, just go down whoop, too far down to the bottom and click save page. And there we have it in a few seconds. It will show up for others to see and that is how you share knowledge. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and just do, 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 whoa, crap. <laughs> see, the cool thing though is if anyone deletes and accidentally saves it, you can always, the wiki remembers everything. So you can always undo if you do goof up. So let me just do that. So don't worry too much about that as long as you're not unintentionally vandalizing <laughs> or else I'll have to ban you. Uh, and then click save page. So just to, I could have reverted it. There's other ways to do that, but for your purposes for now. And like I said, editing guidelines, take it day by day. Some of it, it gets rather overwhelming if you try to take too much about it. But when I started, I was pretty much a noob. I was, we all are. And help link here should explain more about what kinds, yeah, so go to help here. And my old video here, I did have an old video that's not showing up. I have to figure out why. Oh, that's curious. Now I have to look at that closer. I don't know if it's just this browser. But in any case, yeah, these are a quick summary borrowed from General Media Wiki, which is the platform used to run the wiki and how you go about using it. So you can see that translates into that. Go ahead and play and have some fun, share a few tips at a time, and then it'll evolve. It'll really evolve. Trust me on this. And now I find that I've just doing a lot of edits whenever residents share with me things that should be amplifying their awesome. And on your own page, of course, I just click that little user contributions thing. Don't want to skip it over any steps. You can see I've been busy bee on various places. Go ahead and enjoy yourself on the Second Life Wiki.